Hello dear students, I am B.S. Pandey, your physics lecture. Today we are in lecture number 16. Lecture number 16 of chapter 1. electrostatic unit okay the student today we will study the application okay application of gauss law and this is very important lecture student in 2018-2019, the question has been asked from this application. Okay, in 2020, there was a very conceptual question, the very simple question were asked. But for 2021, this is very important. So the first application today we will take it is the electric field due to infinitely long linear charge conducted okay carrying uh, charge linear charge uh, you can say the non-conducting i will uh, spread the charge over the non-conducting okay body so the first application electric field due to long linear that is one dimensional long linear charged non-conducting body okay or non-conducting wire wire here student we will use Gauss law to find the electric field. Suppose this is a conductor of infinite length since we have been used the term very long and it is charged uniformly. Okay. Here lambda is the linear charge density. Linear charge density we have to find electric field at this point suppose at this point so we will draw first a gaussian surface of the same radius to enclose this elemental charge since this is infinitely long we are taking a elemental length okay or the elemental charge to enclose this elemental charge, we know that we need a cylindrical Gaussian surface. Okay, so we will use here a cylindrical Gaussian surface to enclose this wire. Now we have been enclosed this one. You can see if you are enclosing this one, how the electric field lines will emerge out from the cylinder of course the electric field will move in this way radially outward everywhere here also the electric field will be upward here also the electric field will be upward but the area vector at this point these are the electric field okay electric field area vector over here will be in this direction uh, this is the area vector here the area vector will be in this direction okay for this curved surface the area vector will be considered as if you are using this curved surface the area vector will be considered along the r cap radially outward student already we have been discussed while solving uh, an example okay now using this gauss law we will find out the electric field due to this conductor what are observation point what is our observation point this point is p p 
will be our observation point. Observation point that we have to at this point we have to find the electric field. This is our observation point. Okay, student. Now, according to Gauss law, we can write here the phi net is equals to E dot D A. Okay, close integral of E dot D A. So here the phi net net is the three surfaces to study the complete this Gaussian surface. We are having the three surfaces one, two, and another this curve one. Okay, so the phi one phi two plus phi three. Okay, my dear student, now this one. The five one. Suppose this one one, this is two, and third is the Gaussian this curve surface. So for the one, it is E electric field in upward direction J dot A here minus I cap plus for phi two again E J dot A I this one plus this area curve surface area it is if the radius is r radius is r then curve surface area will be how much e j because for this curve surface the electric field will be again it is e j you can write or the e r you can take dot 2 pi R L if L is the length we are taking okay and the direction will be again the R unit vector or the J cap so this is the total electric flux now student here the J cap and I cap are perpendicular to each other so the flux will be zero here the flux will be again zero the flux you will get only for this surface and this flux will be written as how much it is e times 2 pi r l here the j dot r will be 1 because j and r are in same direction it is not everywhere but here where we are considering actually the point r and j both are in same direction so e times 2 pi r l this is our flux now we know as we know that this phi can be also written as q enclosed by epsilon naught yes student q enclosed by epsilon naught now we have to find the q enclosed okay okay q enclose we have to find so the q enclosed will be here charge is enclosed within the length l and lambda is the linear charge density and we know that the linear charge density linear charge density if is given then at particular length we can find the charge by multiplying this lambda so the enclosed charge we can write here the lambda times l okay and this is the enclosed charge that we have to put over here and this phi is, is equals to this phi so we can write here the e times 2 pi r l it is equals to q enclosed which is equals to lambda times l over epsilon naught i hope you are getting now we have to find the electric field we are near our result L will be cancelled out again if there was any question coming in your mind sir why we are taking here the length L why not 2L or 3L so again try to focus here nothing is to take for this length it will cancel out okay and it will not affect your answer so lambda by 2 pi r 
epsilon not lambda by 2 pi r epsilon not and this is the electric field due to linear okay uniformly charged linear non conducting wire you can simplify this one as also here you are having 2 pi epsilon not 2 pi epsilon not if it is 4 pi epsilon not then you can write at the k lambda okay so try to convert this one in k multiply by 2 okay numerator and denominator both because it will not affect the answer but this will be the 4 pi epsilon not and this e will be written as 2 and 4 pi epsilon not will be k and this lambda by this epsilon not so this can be also written as 2k lambda by epsilon not it is very easy student you can see clearly if you are moving away what is changing if you are moving away what is actually changing k is constant epsilon is constant and lambda is also constant if you will ask to draw the graph between e and r if this r is increasing how the electric field will change then you can draw easily that how this electric field will change okay here actually uh, i think r is i haven't taken a sorry r it is in now try to draw the graph actually epsilon not we have been taken in k na r was left now the graph of e versus r for which one for linear non conducting wire okay this will be as this is the conductor charged conductor actually in diagram little bit i have been changed to understand the graph okay now this is the radius r it is zero we will use electric field on this axis and r on this axis this r can be written as in meter and this electric field can be written as a newton per coulomb okay over the y-axis as you are moving away from the conductor you can see it is two constant k constant and lambda is also constant but this e is inversely proportional to r and the graph will be in this way but remember student don't touch this graph with the y-axis because at y-axis the r will be zero and you will have the electric field which is incorrect over the conductor any conductor cannot experience electric field itself so if r is zero electric field will be zero okay and just after the r the electric field will be maximum try to use this converse okay student so this was the application in first application we have been studied how to find the electric field due to this charge linear conductor okay now the next application is student in your ncrt there is two questions there are two numericals you can solve now student now the second application my dear student second application you have to find the electric field due to electric field due to uniformly charged thin sheet sorry thin sheet and this thin sheet will be large very large okay you can use the metal plate also and the thin sheet you have to use over here to find the electric field 
सपोज दिस इज तीन सीट इट इज चार्ज यूनिफॉर्मली वॉट आर द क्वांटिटी यू आर हैविंग यू आर हैविंग सिग्मा इट इज द सरफेस चार्ज डेंसिटी सरफेस चार्ज डेंसिटी इफ यू विल यूज अ एलिमेंट्री सर्फेस एरिया एज ए एलिमेंट्री सर्फेस एरिया एज ए surface area then the q enclosed you will have sigma times a okay we will use this concept now what is the meaning of this thin seat student so the thin seat it means this positive charge will have the effect at both side of the seat this one is actually we have to find electric field at this point okay so again since it is going to infinity it is going to infinity very large so all the sides it is moving for the infinity for simplicity we'll take a gaussian surface and the gaussian shape of the gaussian surface we will take here the cylindrical now again you can ask or you can create a question from yourself even why this shape of gaussian surface is cylindrical okay at here we have to find the electric field since this is thin sheet and the charge having the effect at both the side so the gaussian surface will be considered at this side also so at this side the gaussian surface we are considering in this way and this is the cylindrical body if this is the area a okay this is also the area a the a already we have been considered now find the direction of electric field at different surfaces here the different surface we are having the three surface one two this is the plane surface and one it is the curve one for this curve one if area is a dash suppose what will be the direction of electric field direction of electric field will be in this direction and this will be perpendicular so the flux will be zero that's why i am not giving the value to this curve surface area but in our calculation we will represent the curve surface area also here the electric field will be since it is the positive charge electric field will be outward here the electric field will be since the positive charge that side the electric field will be again outward okay while you are drawing the diagram you must have to represent this all much okay in your examination you will get the marks for the diagram also whenever you are asked to give the answer in board examination try to make the diagram uh, with its maximum possibility whether diagram is being not asked you can use to uh, make the diagram okay that would be the beneficial now we are going to find out the electric field here we have to find the electric field over here we can uh, change the distance also suppose this distance is anyone it is nothing about to take since this curved surface is not giving the flux so uh, it is not mandatory to take the length this one now the net flux again we are having the three faces or the three surfaces 1 2 3 we can write here the flux due to the surface as ea but this e is also in this direction and area is also in this direction so both will be positive plus 2 the second one this area electric field in this one and area is also this one so again ea plus for this surface the electric flux is zero and it is 2 e a okay so this is the flux equation 1 this is the net flux and we know that according to gauss law again this 
flux should be equals how much q in close by epsilon naught okay so we can write here the q in close how much it is the q in close we have been written already the sigma times a why q in close sir because this area is equal to this area also and this area encloses the charge how much sigma times a by epsilon naught this is the second equation and both the flux has equal equation 1 and 2 so we can write here the 2 times e a is equals to sigma a by epsilon naught this a will cancel out and e can be written as sigma by 2 epsilon naught sigma by 2 epsilon naught so this is the mathematical expression for the electric field due to thin sheet remember this is the thin sheet and this is very important because the same you will have to use in capacitor also now the student try to draw the graph now can you note down so we are having the electric field e sigma by 2 epsilon naught okay the graph e and this is the length suppose it is the x you can see this formula e is sigma by 2 epsilon naught sigma is constant epsilon naught is constant 2 is also constant so this e is constant and it will not depend upon x so it is independent the graph will be in this way at this point the electric field the left otherwise the graph will be in this way okay student so this will be the shape of the graph now student third application will use to find the electric field due to charge thick sheet this is the third application okay thick sheet for this thick sheet i am not going to solve this one completely you will solve by yourself but i am giving you the trick or the small hint thick sheet here this is the charge sheet if you will spread the charge on this thick sheet since it is thick so charge will not move and this charge will not have the effect at the other end we have been spread if we have spread the charge at both the surfaces then this is the different case otherwise if we have spread the charge uniformly with the surface charge density sigma already we have been studied in last division surface charge is sigma then the charge will not affect charge has no effect at the second surface so for this particular surface we are taking here the gaussian surface as cylinder again of radius r okay and the electric field will be in this direction here if we are considering elemental surface over here as a dash the electric field will be here sorry electric field will be in this direction it is e again the area vector and electric field are perpendicular to it. but in this case the gaussian surface will not move out because the charge will have the effect just inside the just inside so we can draw here the gaussian surface inside this particular but not outside the seat just inside the seat we are making here the gaussian surface just inside remember it is just inside and it is not outside so we will have only one 
surface you will get the answer student as the e equals to sigma by epsilon naught and try to derive this by your self student okay and now the fourth application electric field due to charged cell if you will find fourth e due to uniformly charged cell okay cochlea so it is uniformly charged of radius r with the surface charge density sigma we'll try to find out the electric field outside the sphere over here at the surface of the sphere and inside the sphere that is the cell in the case one outside the sphere outside the cell if this is the distance x then we have to draw a gaussian surface of radius x we know that without drawing this gaussian surface we cannot obtain and the electric field must be obtained at this gaussian surface take a elemental surface area suppose the area is a okay and the radius is x here the area is a for this charge the electric field will be in this direction only using the gauss law we can write here using gauss law we can write uh, e dot d a is equals to q enclosed by epsilon naught okay now we have to write the q enclosed and this q enclosed will be how much the sigma times total area it is area of the sphere 4 pi r square okay since the charge is spread over this r square not over the x so sigma 4 pi r square this is the queen close so e dot a d a it is equals to q in close that the sigma times 4 pi r square over epsilon naught q by epsilon naught here the e times d a this d is an elementary surface of this one you can write the d a elementary surface of this one and by integrating this d a what you will get actually 4 pi x square okay sigma 4 pi r square over epsilon naught this 4 pi will be cancelled out okay so you will have e as sigma r square by x square epsilon naught sigma by epsilon naught r square by x square since this r is constant we are not changing the radius r is constant if we are finding the electric field over here then we are changing the x only if we are finding the electric field over here then changing the x only so we can also write a converse over here the e is inversely portions sigma is constant epsilon constant r is constant inversely portion to x square okay x square and that will be the helpful to draw the graph now case 2 we can erase this one case 2 case 2 at the surface at the surface at the surface remember if we are moving at the surface the gaussian surface enclose this cell completely and q enclose not going to change remember if q enclose is not going to be changed it means the formula you will get here the same it is e times e dot a actually i am writing here the e times 4 pi or let me write e dot a d a is equals to sigma times the charge it was 4 pi r square over epsilon naught and e and d how much if you are at this point then the surface area again will be 4 pi r square sigma 
4 pi r square by epsilon naught it will be cancel out and then you will have the electric field as sigma by epsilon naught okay my dear student now the third one okay this is at the surface now third one case 3 case 3 case 3 inside as we'll move inside remember drawing the gaussian surface inside there will be no charge inside the gaussian surface so q enclosed will be how much it is zero so the electric field will be also zero it is quite obvious because you will use e dot d equals to q enclosed by epsilon naught since q enclosed is zero then e will be zero so inside the cell the electric field will be how much zero now you will be asked to draw the okay to draw the graph so you can draw the graph easily from center i'm taking the reference at this one e from center o and here the x okay at the center the electric field is zero here it will be zero here it will be zero at the surface you are getting actually electric field and how much it is at the surface you are getting the electric field it is sigma by epsilon naught try to recall sigma by epsilon naught after that you are getting the electric field and it is varying with this equation e inversely potential to x square so you will get this equation and this is the graph of electric field due to cell versus the separation okay students so these are the important application it was in the next lecture we will do some numerical question on the basis of this all the application students thank you very much